As habitats and ecosystems are restored, the Cairngorms Connect landscape is changing. It's a long, slow process, but through looking closer with our science and monitoring work, we can start to understand and imagine what the landscape will look like in 200 years. So we're looking to expand the range of native woodland within the project and that's both in terms of increasing its connectivity across the Cairngorms Connect area and also increasing its altitudinal limit up to its natural range. By removing the freshers of deer, trees are slowly starting to march up the hill. It's a landscape we aren't familiar with in Scotland, but by looking closer we can start to understand the forest's potential within the changing landscape better. To monitor the expansion of the forest there's two different elements, there's the kind of physical monitoring of the expansion of the woodland. One of the first things I'm looking at is the amount of regen within a 10 metre radius. But then alongside that we're also looking at how the woodland is actually responding to that on an ecological basis. We're closely following moths as an indicator species of the changing forest and landscape. They may be small, but they can help us better understand and keep track of big changes. Within the moth trapping work that we're doing, we're essentially interested in the total number of moths that are appearing within a given night and also the number of species. That then gives us a measure of diversity that's appearing. But then we're also interested within that, what proportion of those species have a particular relationship within the habitat that they're within. As the traps are set up in quite remote places, we'll set up the traps in the evening and we'll then camp out overnight with the traps and then we'll go back to site in the morning to empty them. We caught 149 individual moths on the trap itself of 20 different species, so it's a really quite a nice catch for the, for the hoof trap. The presence and abundance of these species can help to indicate the overall health of the forest and the way that it's interacting within the restoration work that's being carried out. I think in 100 years we'll actually struggle from the spot where we're standing to see across to the hills at this particular point in any case. We'd expect that a lot of these young trees will have become quite mature. The natural world in the UK is so highly depleted that it can be difficult to imagine what a healthy landscape might look like. Being within this landscape is like very much sort of a landscape of hope. And monitoring these changes helps us to carry this hope forwards as we continue the restoration journey into the future. Yeah.